Good evening and welcome to Muncie's Most Wanted, Dateline Edition. I'm Ron Burgundy. Tonight, we examine an issue that affects not only the Ball State community, but the entire world at large. The issue at hand, piggybacking. Commonly defined as the illegal act of following somebody into a residence hall without an identification card. The consequences of these actions are often insignificant. However, if the wrong person piggybacks their way into your hall, you and your homemates could pay the price. Tonight, we unveil some all new ways to keep piggyback related disasters from happening to you. The following is an example of a real life piggybacker. Watch what he does to get in, and more importantly, what he could do if he gets in. favorite kind of candy? D D strawberry? What a coincidence, this, this is strawberry. Uh, that, that's, that's caramel. Tastes just like strawberry though, it's uh, strawberry no, no caramel. No thanks, no thanks. Oh, come on, no, it's no, good, no. It's, please, come please, on, it's good candy. Here. Get out of here, get out of here. Go away! The following are ways to keep people from entering your hall illegally. Whoa, baby, you got your ID? No? Then I can't let you in, I'm sorry. Or... I'm gonna, I'm gonna swipe it now. Obviously, it shouldn't matter how incredibly attractive a girl is, you should have no reservations about slamming the door in her face and hurting her feelings forever. The consequences could be awful if you don't. For all of us here at Ball State's Most Wanted, I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, Muncie.